You got in this real estate business because you had that entrepreneurial spirit. You didn't want to work for anybody. But why do so many agents just go right into it, join teams, join brokerages without asking questions? Today, I'm going to go through the four things that you should ask every sponsor or managing broker that you join when you're deciding on a brokerage. And at eXp especially, the sponsor is ultra important because once it's named, you cannot change it, right? That is your sponsor for the longevity of your time at eXp. You would have to leave for six months in order to name a different sponsor. That creates chaos, no one wants to do that. So make sure that you're making the right decision when naming that sponsor, especially at eXp. We're gonna dive into the questions you should be asking next. What's up guys, Jeremy Kane, eXp Realty here, uh, real estate agent playbook. Thank you so much for coming to this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe on YouTube, share it on, you know, wherever you share podcasts as I love, you know, that we're developing that community. Please, you know, throw me a review if you would feel so inclined. But today we're talking about something and I'm gonna tell you right now, I've talked to at least four or five people after they're at the company, would have done it differently had they, you know, understood the full scope of what naming a sponsor at eXp means. So I'm gonna get into some questions. I wanna give you guys the questions to ask so that before naming a sponsor and making that decision, you can dive in. And so let's get into it here. So first things first, understand that naming a sponsor, yeah, it's great if you're buddies with somebody, but if they're not gonna benefit your business and they're not in the right situation, then don't compound that by, you know, <clears throat> just signing up under them because you owe, owe them some friendship loyalty. This is your business, this is your family's future. And depending on what you wanna get out of the EXP model, whether you know, you're know you strictly coming over just for the production, for the possibility to get ICON, you know, that could, you know, some of the systems and processes and trainings could absolutely help you, you know, with your when you're in a different area. EXP is a great brokerage, we love to collaborate, but within these downlines, there is definitely proprietary information and and you have the opportunity in some situations to you know leverage the upline and, th and that's the first thing so first things first i would ask your direct sponsor if they have the ability to explain the model do they know what the full model encompasses do they understand the rev share do they understand the icon award do they understand the nuances of health insurance teams um you know, all of those things, domestic partner team, all of that, there's cool things. Do they understand, you know, KV Core and, and how that works? And, you know, if this sponsor, no sponsor is gonna know 100% everything, but they should at least be able to explain the model and pull out all of these things, especially in your case, what's the best benefit for you? Are you gonna be, you know, are you gonna absolutely crush it and rev share and you don't even, you know, have that on your radar? Do they? offer to help you build that rev share? Absolutely. So we'll get into the next question, but first things first, make sure the person you join especially understands the model so that they can help guide you and be a resource for you when you come in. Because when you come into eXp, there's a plethora of knowledge, there's a million different directions you can go. And if your sponsor has no idea and they don't have access to the their you know upline as readily as they should, then it might be a big, you know, negative for you coming over and making that switch and missing out on all that eXp has to offer. Next is, is there any value that you offer directly as a sponsor, right? It's a big decision. You're gonna be essentially paying them up to $2,800 a year if you cap, and you know it's not your money, but they're gonna be able to earn $2,800 a year from your production, and so, what are they providing you? Are they doing this just, you know, do they just want you to come on so that they have somebody to go to happy hour with? Or, you know, do they just want you to come on so they're you're another metric? Or do they actually provide you value? What are they gonna offer you that is life-changing for your, for your decision? And now the biggest thing here is, is that it's not just one. At eXp, you have seven tiers above you. So your sponsor is the first one, but what's the next person offer? And what's the next person offer? And what's the next person offer? Are they all in line? Are they all the same, right? Or is it adversity, right? At, at, in our group at eXp, Connor Steinbrook, number one real estate investor out of Dallas, Texas. Mike Sherrard, number one social media trainer for real estate agents nationwide, globally, whatever you want to call it. Louis Gall, you know, systems and processes is kind of his jam. He's really ultra productive in the short amount of time. You know, work-life balance, all of that stuff comes with Louis and his coaching. Myself, who's really, 
you know, get my hands dirty. How are we going to build your business? How are we going to get that first transaction, you know, and coaching you through some of the systems that I have created, some of the things that I have done based on different personalities. And I've helped people build strategies for open houses, cold calling, door knocking, um, as well as, you know, Instagram, YouTube, all the things. I haven't done all of those things, but I've, I've been around it enough to understand, okay, for instance, I've never sold a house through an open house. I've never got a client. I just don't like them. It's uncomfortable. I gave a 12 week accelerator to an agent in my downline, Daryl Vaughn, and he's absolutely built his entire business based on that 12 week accelerator that we did. And he developed systems and processes, took it and ran, built his own business. And he's absolutely crushing it with open houses. So proofs in the pudding um, there, but what, what is each line offering? Is it just YouTube? Oh, they're good at YouTube. They're good at YouTube. They're good at YouTube. Well, if that's the case, you know, maybe, maybe that's not going to be great because maybe you're scared shitless to get on video, right? Um, I think you should get over that. But if that's the only thing they're offering, then, then what's that look like, right? What successes have they actually had? Look at their numbers, right? Okay. Well, you're saying you made X amount of dollars from Facebook or whatever. Show me that. Okay, look up their numbers. You can look up on HomeSnap, you can look up agent production in an instant, right? Does it actually correlate? Does it make sense that they're saying they made this much money doing this? Now, can you do that? Is it too late to get on that bandwagon? All of those things kind of play a role, but if there's just, you know, three people in a row teaching you one strategy versus the diversity of the Wolfpack offers, that's where things change and it's you right? It might hurt a feeling, right? My, my cousin still, you know, may hold it against me that I didn't join her downline, but my downline was absolutely, you know, on the, on the up and up, right? Currently the number one growing organization in the entire brokerage, 88,000 agents is the group that I joined for a reason because of the diversity of what they offer in their value. And it's more about, you know, myself as a sponsor, but the people that, that go up the rung, as well as some of the people I've partnered with. Now we're, now we're continuing to develop value stacks for seven tiers deep um, as we go. So that's just something to consider when, when choosing a sponsor. It's not just about them, right? It, I understand if they're your best friend and you love them so much, but if you guys aren't gonna collaborate and work together, maybe that sponsor is different. Or maybe you guys can start a team, form a production team together. You don't have to be on the same upline to do that. So maybe that's an option if, if it's really about working with that person. Um, maybe you name a different sponsor, but then you, you start a production team. So there's options, but absolutely ask, okay, what's, what's this? What's about this? What's about this? What's about this all the way up? And if they can't answer that, it's probably because they don't know. They don't have those connections right all the way up connor steinbrook three tiers above me i have him on my cell phone i could text him right now and say ask him a question he'd respond within 30 minutes right that's pretty awesome when you're talking about somebody who's top 50 in the company one of the number one organization attractors in the entire entire company you know month over month week over week year over year so um definitely see what those those tiers above above hold and if it's a regular brokerage what's what's that look like right it's maybe a little bit different setup like what's your marketing department do what's your social media department do what's what do all these where am i going to get all of this help or is it just you as a managing broker wearing all the hats and i have to come to you well i'm probably going to build my business a lot different than you did mr managing broker and so those are just things to consider when you're making a decision on what brokerage you know to, to go with the next one is huge. What's the process of bringing other agents on, right? Are you going to help me? Hey, Mr. Mike Sherrard, number one attractor in the entire company. What are you going to do to help me bring on agents? Oh, well, you can ask me that. I wouldn't call Mike and ask him that, but it's, it's built in. We have a system and process, right? We have an explain call every single week. We can invite to that. I can hop on a three-way call with an agent that you have that's interested and we're going to close them right? Therefore you, while you're just getting your feet wet at EXP, maybe not understanding the model in its entirety, maybe not good at handling objections. Well, now you're driving them to a call with the number one recruiter all time at EXP, who's going to answer those questions, explain the model, pull all the nuances out of it, you know, that he's done, you know, over the last three years, just straight up experience and conversion. And then, you know, myself, who's been at the company for, you know, two years, well, jump on a call and say, okay, you know, you got the EXP model. This is what our group does a little bit differently as far as below Mike, and we're going to close them. They're going to sign on under you. So you're going to be developing and building a rev share organization before maybe even you, you know, had the ability to, 
to ask the questions because as it goes, when you do make that move, when you make that announcement post, people will be intrigued, right? The kind of, you know, reputation of eXp is like, oh, no one wants to do that. No one wants to do that. But I'll tell you right now that every time an agent comes on, they have agents ask them questions. How's it at eXp? Right. They want to see behind the curtain because they've seen all the, you know, they've been recruited, they've been cold called, they've been bugged by certain agents that are out there doing that, you know, not necessarily the way that we do it at the Wolfpack, but people ask questions. And if you can grab that, that attention and when they're asking those questions, you can say, well, come see it. Right. Let's get you on a call with Mike Sherrard. You've seen his YouTube videos. Let's go. Boom. And then let's get you on a call with my sponsor, Jeremy, who who can kind of break down what it's going to look like specifically for you based on this huge global organization. And so what's that look like? Do they have a system to help you bring agents on is absolutely something to ask because top producers, especially or people that have been in the business a while. One of the you know draws to EXP is you can develop a real exit strategy. Right. It's not, you know, hey, I'm done. Your income goes to zero. You can develop something that's pretty life changing through the revenue share model You can develop that residual income and you can really work towards, you know, building yourself the future that you wanted to when you got into real estate. And then this is the last one kind of new addition to my repertoire. What's your future at EXP? Right. What are you going to do as an agent? Tell me the truth, right? Are you a short timer? Are you going to continue in production? Are you going to switch to, you know, organization, building an organization? Are you going to go commercial? Or, you know, are you are you thinking about, you know, maybe it's not the best fit for me? Whatever that may be, this is a question that you can ask kind of out of the blue and you'll get a response, right? Okay, and go with your gut. If someone says, you know, well, you know, we'll see whatever. And they're not fully bought into the model and what we're doing here. Well, maybe that's a, a hint that maybe you shouldn't join them because if you join them and they leave, you don't bump up, you just stay. So there's going to be a gap, right? The good, good sponsors above that person would reach down and pull you along. Great. But you're also losing a whole piece of value right? Those seven tiers above you should provide some value. And if you're losing a tier, then that's something that you should be concerned about. Not to mention, it's going to tip you off to, you know, what they think, what they know about the model, how they're leveraging it. Sure. Best answer is probably like, well, you know, I'm going to get out of production eventually and just run my organization, right? If I, if I can run my organization and help the lives of other agents, well, that's a really good value add for you as an agent joining their downline. Right. So you just have to make these decisions. And at the end of the day, it's you and your family. Right. That's all that anyone cares about. You know, at first, family's number one, so on and so forth. But we need to make sure that you're making a secure decision. And I will tell you that there is no, you know, one. I asked Mike Sherrard this question when I joined. Right. He said, well, I'm going to grind it out. I'm working on developing future. I want to win. I want to get to this income level. I want to do this. I want to do that. And he's absolutely done it right. Showed up for every single call for, you know, 400 Tuesdays in a row or whatever it's been since I've been been at the at the you know, group, not 400 because it's only been two years. So 150 calls in a row, Tuesdays, Thursdays, whatever it may be. And so, you know, ask those questions. What's that future look like? Because if there is a gap or they leave, you know, then they're also going to probably try and get you to leave. And then, you know, you have to switch again. So if if they're unsure at that point, that's when you really need to, you know, start scratching your head. Raise your hand. As always, if you're talking to someone right now. Great. I would love to have that conversation before you name a sponsor, just so you're making the best decision. REAGENTWOLFPACK.COM. I'll tell you right now, best decision I ever made for my business was coming to a brokerage that compensates you fairly for everything you do. Two-time icon agent going on a third here shortly should be, you know, within three or four months, I'll have my third icon award. And, you know, it's absolutely changed my business, right? From my stock account to my rev share residual income coming in to my production numbers, to my, you know, commissions and all of those things. No other brokerage can provide that for you. I absolutely promise. If you want to talk about it, book a call. Let's talk about it. Jam out. Math doesn't lie. Um, the emotions sometimes get in the way, but let's talk math. Let's talk about what it looks like. And let's talk about why this is the number one organization within, you know, one of the fastest growing brokerages in the world. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon. Like, comment, subscribe, share this podcast with anybody who's thinking about EXP. Bye-bye.